In this video, we'll write the electron configuration for Se selenium. We'll also write the electron configuration for the Se2- ion. So let's do Se first. If we look at Se on the periodic table, the first thing we want to figure out is how many electrons do we have to write the electron configuration. Since Se, it's not negative or positive, it's not an ion, the atomic number, the number of protons, that'll equal the electrons. So we have 34 total electrons to write the electron configuration for selenium. There are two ways we can do this. One is we could use the diagonal rule, use this chart here, follow the arrows to figure out the electron configuration. There's a link to a description in the video if you'd like to do it that way. Probably a better way though is to look at the periodic table broken up into these blocks. We have the S block, D block, P block, F block would be down here. So let's write the electron configuration that way. We'll start out, we go 1s1, 1s2. Now that's full, so here's our 1s2. S orbitals hold up to 2. 2s1, 2s2. For the p's, they hold up to 6. We have 2p1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2p6 is full. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. From the 4s2, we go to the 3d. D can hold up to 10. So we have 3d10. Then we have 4p, but we only need four more electrons to have the complete configuration for Se. So we have 4p1, 2, 3, 4. That's the selenium. So we have 4p4 as our last term here. We've used all the electrons. This is the electron configuration for Se. Sometimes you'll see this written with the 4s2 after the 3d10. That's okay too. Either way is correct. If we wanted to write the condensed notation, we could do that this way. So if we wrote the noble gas configuration for argon, it would look like this. So we can just condense that down and then have the rest of our configuration. If you wanted to draw the electron configuration for the Se2- ion, what you would do, because it has a 2 minus, that means it has two more negative charges, two more electrons, you just change this to six here, and this would be the electron configuration for Se2 minus. This is Dr. B with the electron configuration for Se and Se2 minus. Thanks for watching.